Hello and welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Day. My name is Leah. I'm the creator behind Thrifty Day. Today's episode is going to be a very simple junk journal layout or two with three big moments in my family's life. First was my daughter Lizzie's master's degree graduation party and second was my youngest daughter's high school graduation party and also what we did to celebrate Father's Day this past weekend for my husband, Steve. So yes, that's a lot of big moments in just a couple layouts, but it was very important to me to document them. But sometimes documenting such big milestones can be a little bit daunting. As you can see, I have a lot of photographs. And so I sort of thought to myself, how am I going to document all of this? So many things happened this summer. So I found a way to do that. So before I get into my very simple layouts, but I think they came out really fun and I can't wait to share them with you, I would like to share this poem. It says, If I could keep you little forever, I wouldn't. As much as you are a part of me, you don't belong to me. You belong to the wind, the moon, the stars. Your heart is going to change the world and make it a better place. And if I'm lucky, I will be here to watch you do it. That was a poem by Jessica Jocelyn, and I think it really sets the tone for the layouts I'm about to do. So I purchased those bingo daubers. I was very inspired by Rebecca Hoot. She is here on YouTube. She is also on Instagram and TikTok. She has such a fun channel. I will link her information down below, but she uses these bingo daubers in her journaling process, and I thought it would be perfect for this particular layout because I just saw the movie Inside Out 2. We went on Father's Day and we all cried our eyes out. It, it's such a great movie, please go see it. If you struggle with anxiety or even just any emotion in sort of an imbalanced way, you will sob. So bring your tissues, but it's a good thing. Sometimes it's good to get a good cry out. In fact, I loved it so much, it's actually going to possibly influence something I may wanna do in July, maybe a guided prompt moment. I'm still sort of working it all out in my head, but I think it will be good. And um, so stay tuned for more details and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. So for this very simple layout, which like I said, will be three huge milestones in my family um, in our recent history here, just this past summer, um, I'm going to do something I almost never do. I am going to add white space to my journal. <laughs> I usually am trying to cover up white space, but for these layouts, I am actually adding some computer paper to completely white out these pages. I am using Tombow Mono glue uh, in the form of a glue stick. As you can see, it goes on so thick. It's such a great glue stick and it's pretty affordable. It's not very expensive. I purchased mine at Michael's. I really love it. You can even use your coupon. It's really great. So I am adding that computer paper. I still have that ladybug print on the other side, so it's okay that I covered it. And now what I'm going to do, and I did put it in fast forward, is I am going to add these bingo daubers all over each one of these layouts. I am using orange for anxiety, if you saw Inside Out too. I'm using yellow for joy, green for disgust, um, red for anger, purple for fear, and blue for sadness. That sort of covers all of the main characters in the Inside Out 2 movie. And so that is sort of my nod to what we did on Father's Day. And I'm also going to have many pictures of Steve and us together as a family on these pages. So all of these little circles are very reminiscent of Inside Out 2. That is how memories are sort of represented in that movie. So if you've seen Inside Out or Inside Out 2, or if you've been to Disneyland on the Pixar Pier, you know that that is sort of Pixar's view of core memories. And so I completely cover these pages in these circles to represent all of the emotions. So not only did we see Inside Out 2 on Father's Day, so that's sort of what is representative of this layout. All of these emotions very much go into what I've experienced this summer. Um, both of my children had huge milestones. Um, Lizzie graduated from college with her master's degree. My youngest daughter, Abby, graduated from high school with her high school diploma, and now we are getting ready to move her into her dorm in Malibu for college. And so 
that is a roller coaster of emotions that I'm feeling right now. And I'm actually just going to barely touch on it because I will break down and cry. <laughs> but I think it was not only representative of our experience and what we did, but also of all of the emotions that went into the parties and the graduations and the milestones. And so I'm just going to add some washi tape right down the center. I chose this orange with flowers because if you've seen the movie, um, Anxiety was the newest character that was sort of introduced in the Inside Out 2 movies and it sort of reminded me of her. And it was a good reminder that anxiety isn't always a villain. It just needs to be in check and be more balanced. And I think that's where many of us struggle. So that was my nod to anxiety too. Now that all my circles are dry and all of my memory representation are on each of those layouts, I am going to pick some of these gold letters and I'm going to write core on one layout and then I'm going to turn the page and use memory stickers that say that spell out memories on the other page. Now, I purchased these stickers to make posters for my daughter Lizzie's master's degree graduation. We always have signs and so I had pictures of her and her kindergarten graduation um, images that I've saved. And since, you know, what is that? I think she graduated in 2004 from kindergarten. <laughs> so I made signs out of them and I picked these gold letters to write things on her signs. And what I found when I made those signs is they do not stick well. So that's good and bad. At least I can kind of move them around on the layouts. But as you can see, once I have them laid out on the pages, I now need to go back and use um, fabric tack to make sure that they actually stick to the pages. So it took a little bit longer, but I guess ultimately it was fine. And since I had them in my stash, it was fun to go ahead and use them and not have to buy any new supplies. So as you watch me add these sparkly gold letters, if you would be so kind as to like this video, I would appreciate that so much. I work really hard to sort of build community and connect here on YouTube. So every time you hit that like button or you comment, um, it really helps my channel and I appreciate that so much. So if you've hit that like button, thank you. If you are new, be sure to say hi, let's connect. I feel like this is gonna be a summer of kind of diving back into YouTube. I feel like for the past few months, I've been not as present as I would like to be because I have been so overwhelmed with graduations and graduation parties and family and all the good things. But sometimes it is fun to dive back into my own personal creativity and to be able to connect. So I wanted to tell you that I appreciate your presence here. And so be sure to um, leave a message so we can chit chat. Not going to lie, adding all of these letters took a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> but that's okay. I do like the way it looks. They don't pop quite as much as I would like them to. But again, this is something, uh, my process I like to keep kind of basic and simple because I find that the easier I keep my process, the more I go back to it because it isn't a pressure. It's just creating for the sake of having fun. So the beauty of this layout is not only in its simplicity, but in how much I plan to pack on these few pages. It's very simple because you can purchase these bingo daubers anywhere. You can find them at dollar stores. I purchase mine on Amazon. And you can either write whatever you want as a header or you can use stickers like I did. And then the really fun part is that I just printed these photos. I printed them in this sort of Polaroid style at CVS. It's very simple. You can do it on the kiosk. And I'm going to just let the photos tell the story. I don't plan to do any additional writing. I do add some more stickers, which you'll see later in my process. But my plan is to allow all of these photos from these amazing days, Abby's graduation party, Lizzie's graduation party, and Father's Day, I'm going to allow the photos to do all of the work. I'm not going to add anything else because I worked really hard planning these parties. Lizzie's master's degree party had a Latina plant ancestor theme and it was all very specific and very purposeful. Abby's theme for her high school graduation party was wide open spaces. Yes, based on the chick's song, wide open spaces. I'm going to cry. I'm not even going to quote it here. But it was also very intentional and very purposeful. Lots of wildflowers and many, many pictures. And so I worked for months on these parties. And so I thought, you know what? 
I'm going to honor all of that work and all of those wonderful memories by just allowing the photos to do the talking for me. And so that's what you see me doing here. And I have to tell you, it was so much fun. It was so much fun to see all of the creativity and fun and work that went into those parties just sort of shine by way of photographs. I just use this tape runner to add all of these pictures. I believe it's called Ad Tech. You can get it at any craft store. And I think Walmart has it probably for the cheapest too. They come in packs of four and they are very, very sticky and um, they stay forever. So I am a big fan of these tape runners. I wish they lasted a little bit longer, but you know what? I'm just going to be happy that they are permanent. Also, let me know if you celebrated any graduations this graduation season. I know it's dads and grads, and we're finally about reaching the end, but it was so hard, honestly, having two very big graduations in one season, but um, I'm just so proud of my children. So I kind of finished up Abby's graduation party, and now for memories, we're going to head over into Lizzie's graduation party. And again, I'm just going to let those photos do the talking. I have to tell you that when I saw Inside Out 2, I was very moved because I am someone who struggles very much with anxiety, that sort of imbalance of trying to protect myself in a healthy way, but also recognizing that I need to sort of allow myself to feel and experience a little bit more, less protection, more experience. So um, even big groups of people, people I love, friends and family, can be very overwhelming for me. Um, I do struggle sometimes in social situations, and everyone who came to these parties were people I know and love and trust, but it, it was still difficult. Big groups of people are often very difficult to me, and both parties were very large. And um, But it was so wonderful to watch my children be so happy. And I guess as a mom, you are so grateful for those moments and you hope that maybe your children can feel a little bit more freedom in those situations. And um, so working through my anxiety is something I've been working on for many years. And um, I'm just so grateful that I do see progress with myself. But more than that, I saw my children so happy and so comfortable in that situation. And I got to say, it felt good. And so um, I will continue to work on myself and work within my mind. But it felt really good to see my kids so, so happy. Okay, enough of that, or I'm going to start crying, which is okay. I don't mind crying, but maybe not while I'm doing voiceover for a YouTube um, let me know if you've seen Inside Out 2, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, my youngest daughter is going to college for psychology, and it actually was really, really exciting for her. She told me how it makes her even more excited to go into that field and makes her more excited that that's her choice. She had a teacher that was really inspirational to her, her AP psych teacher in high school, and um, so she said she's super excited to delve into that world of mental health. So I would love to hear your opinion on the movie too. And I love all of the different emotions. I've always identified with sadness. I know that a lot of people are like, oh no, I don't see you as sadness, but I just always have. I don't know if it's like how my life was shaped growing up or if it's just sort of what I'm prone to in my brain, but I do identify with sadness. Everyone in my family, we all sort of identify with one of the characters. Um, so I wonder what character you identify most with. Like where where does your sort of brain lead to? Are you more fear? Are you more anxiety? Are you more sadness or joy? Um, or are you more of a bing bong? Um, I would love to hear. I'm so fascinated by the Inside Out movies. So I would love to hear what character you identify with. As you can see here, I am super confused as to what to do because I really wanted to fit all of these pictures in. And ultimately, I do find a way to fit them all in, which is nice, but <laughs> I really struggled. I went into these pages not really having a plan. My only plan was that I wanted to use those bingo daubers because I loved them and I was so inspired by Rebecca Hoot. 
Um, but I really struggled and I'm, I'm glad I ended up finding a way to make it all work, but I kept going back and forth and back and forth and lifting things up and tearing things off and resticking them. And anyway, ultimately it all worked out and I love the way it all looks. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull out my Tim Holtz tiny word stickers. I actually have the gold and white and black and white ones. And um, I go through and it takes me forever, but I end up picking stickers for every single picture. That's what I picked for Abby's. And then I go through and do the same for Lizzie's. It honestly took me forever. I'm telling you, I overthought every little word, but I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. So that is it, folks, this super simple beginner level layout for your junk journals. Easy peasy. I really felt like I was kind of back in preschool decorating here, and it was so much fun. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to give it a try. Let me know if you saw the movie. Let me know all of the things. That was That's what we are here for, to connect, to build community, to chit chat, to become friends. I really enjoyed making this layout. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will be back with more videos very soon. I have so many ideas. I have so many things coming up and I can't wait to share them all with you. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your presence and have a really great day, everyone. Bye.